hit of me the close range or at a distance if god for me why bother i got my game from the godfather top of the food chain rock bottom and handle my business when it was my problem this Lion fan base have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a classic in store between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. One of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks' time. Which will it be as we're underway in the NFC title game? And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Looking to throw. Robinson. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Back to throw. Robinson. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Operating from the gun, Robinson. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches, throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Back to throw again. That pass caught. It's Williams. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 17-yard line. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Coming across the formation and making the catch is charged. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here, first and goal. Swift. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift taking it in from a yard out. And the Lions have struck first in this NFC title game. Extra point by Cyber up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. Here are the Lions. 
seconds now as they line up and kick this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. A man who played collegiately over in East Lansing. Here's Ken Walker. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs go. to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as block. Then he had a halfback. He had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. But a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Off play action, Robinson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. On second down, Swift. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And the Seahawks had a couple of extra DBs going with the dime look here. Indeed, six on the field. Operating from the gun, Robinson. They try to find Chark, but it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. On second down, it's Walker. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there's good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe, and they are on the board. 
but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Robinson now looking to throw on second down. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 31-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and ten, down at the 31. Looking to throw, Robinson. And that'll be caught, it's St. Brown. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the five, here's second and two. They go back to the ground. This time, Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, 
He heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Here's a second and seven. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. No partner, they went empty set there. No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect No him. one else. Looking for Hawkinson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Detroit. From 19 yards away. And the Lions continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points he did. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a gain of 35. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn that field and gain any yardage. And he's going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Second and three. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point splits the uprights, and it makes the score 21-10. to 10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Robinson to throw on third down. He's got this complete to Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Yeah. 
So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Robinson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game of 16. First and 10. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, it's Swift. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Swift. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Robinson looking for Hawkinson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Lions would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Seidert up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time. All right, rifles win, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Amadi Oruwoye. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. They had no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Let's go! 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they have work to do in this second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime are saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Now a dump off here complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Polluting the pressure right. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Partner just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage. But he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run got six, now second and four. On play action, they'll throw, escaping the pressure right. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Amari Cooper, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Swift going to try up the middle. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Robinson from the gun on third down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. They will run straight ahead with Swift. 
And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 45 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Now Robinson on first down. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. From 21 yards away. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Cyber. Up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started it at. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Boye Mafe. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own 41. Well, Charles, I know you appreciate seeing this great defense, especially with the heightened intensity of the postseason. These two defenses, they have risen to the occasion to force back-to-back -back interceptions. You know me well, Brandon. I always stand with my fellow defenders, and I love watching them make plays, and you nailed it. It's playoff time. This is when it matters most. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half. And down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. Too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They had great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Operating from the gun, Robinson. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 
Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. One quarter remains for the right to go. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Once again, it's Swift. And he's going to take it in for a lion touchdown. DeAndre Swift saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Lions are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And their dream of a Super Bowl burn so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Second and 11. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. Walker now on first and 10. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And got his man complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. They'll look to throw here. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Again, he'll drop the throw. And he's going to go down. They sack it back right around the 30. Aiden Hutchinson able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert, and the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift to about the 33-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the handoff, this is Swift. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. 
But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but... The self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. So a big chunk of yardage will be marked off there for that P.I. call. And now you know why receivers and the guys throwing the ball, they like to collaborate and just heave it up sometimes because you can get these types of calls that go get... He's got a man complete! And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. It's a big play there for Seattle. 52 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. So still lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback... You need your ratio to be more like three touchdown passes to one interception. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. 
A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. A two-yard game. It's fourth down. And they get to hoist the Hallis Trophy. Unbelievable victory. Moving on to the Super Bowl. I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feeling and an amazing accomplishment. Jack, hit me up 
Never said I gotta beat it down. Turn me up when I'm on your speaker now. Cool. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Who's it on my cardio? I used to get the run around. I've been doing this since I had to work at Mama House. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Everybody eating this a party when I come to town. You can bring your mom and daddy, sister, and your cousin out. Yeah, you in the lead, but you ain't hooping around and tear you out. Before you judge me, you need to go and wipe the mirror off. Try to turn me down. Only thing it do is veer off. Showing fake love. I can tell it once I say it all. I just stay cool. Act like it wasn't weird at all. Most of the people that you meet are not who they appear at all. If you want to talk, then you wouldn't hear it shared all. But I ain't got no top. I don't need a chandelier at all. I ain't got no talk because I be really out my mind. When the hate don't work, I guarantee they get the line. They all talk, dog. It's a room full of brines. I'm ready to the means that it's in my bloodline. I had a king, made the president resign. And if I'm not the king, then I'm making doves cry. I'm stepping on the scene like I never did reply. I ain't got to justify. I'm cool. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Tear down. Who's it on my cardio? I used to get the run around. The 
Let's go. 